searched every nook and cranny of this country looking for ordinary people and tested their street smarts by asking basic questions about the world around them. It will be up to our players to determine who's got it going on and who's a few floors short of a high rise. And speaking of players, let's meet him. We have Vanessa right here, folks. But we got Travis right there. What's up, team? Y'all better give it up. Now remember, it's do or die here on Street Smarts. The winner gets the bread and the loser is toast. Now let's meet the three people they'll be making snap judgments about. First up, Chloe in Vegas flexes her skills. Chloe, what do you do here in Vegas? I'm an exotic dancer. I'm sorry. I, oh, King. Oh, God. I'm getting paid right now. I have a, I have a hidden talent. Uh, what's your hidden talent? Oh, oh, look, her breasts are moving, America. Look at that. <laughs> I have a good gig. And at Waterworld in Denver, Gina spreads her contagious laugh. Gina, I understand you have a contagious laugh. <laughs> so, Gina, what do you do? Um, I'm a home supervisor. Home supervisor. <laughs> if you could marry one celebrity, who would it be? Probably Arnold Schwarzenegger. Ooh, you like big guys, big muscle guys? Yes, I like do. Like myself? <laughs> yes, just like you. <laughs> you need to laugh at that. And finally, was I dreaming or did I really go to Waikiki and witness Jordana's Tahitian dance? Now, Jordana, where are you from? Oceanside, California. And what do you do now? Going to FIDM in San Diego Fashion School. Oh, okay. So you want to be like, what, a designer? Product is, product is, yeah. Like, okay. You know what? Just <laughs> okay. designer. Yeah, okay. That sounds good. So do you have any unusual talents? Tahitian dance. Tahitian dance? How's that? <laughs> <laughs> I was in Hawaii, how cool is that? All right, it's time to play a little game we like to call, Who Knew It? We ask the same question to all three people in the field, and your challenge is to guess who answered the question right. You will lock in your choice, and a correct guess is going to get you 100 bucks. All right, not a bad way to start. So let's go. Let's get this show on the road, guys. Here's the first question I asked to Chloe, Gina, and Jordana. What does it mean if your breasts are asymmetrical? So flip it up, guys. Tell me who knew it. Was it Chloe, Gina, or Jordana could tell me what it means if your breasts are asymmetrical? So uh, get it going there. OK, looks like you guys are ready. OK, you guys are locked in. We got a Jordana. We got a Chloe. Now, uh, Vanessa, you think Jordana knows this one, huh? Yeah, you know, she's going to go to design school, so hopefully that's something right. that she Okay, knows. and let's, let's watch the clip. What does it mean if your breasts are asymmetrical? They're round. They're round? That's what they mean? Yeah. Actually, it means they're, they're uneven, like one's bigger than the other. Oh. Yours are, yours are symmetrical, which means they're the same, right? What I have, yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's a wrong answer. I'm sorry, Vanessa. She did not know that. Now, Travis, you think Chloe's going to come through for you, huh? She's definitely going to get it because, you know, for obvious reasons. All right, let's check out our Vegas girl. <laughs> what does it mean if your breasts are asymmetrical? What does it mean if your breasts are asymmetrical? Right. <laughs> they're flat. It means they're flat? Yeah. Okay. You, you don't they're have... Flat and wide. Yeah. You don't have asymmetrical breasts. No. Mine aren't squishy. They're... <laughs> she got it wrong too, Travis. I'm sorry, that is not a correct answer either. Uh, the correct answer is um, they're uneven, irregular in shape. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. All right. <laughs> Here's the next question around, guys. See if we can get you some money on this one. What's happening if someone's ogling you? What do you think? Who knew it, guys? Chloe, Gina, or Jordana yeah. could tell us that one, what ogling means. All right, we're uh, almost ready, I think. Let's see, you guys ready? You're locked in. We have a locked Chloe, we have a, we have a Gina now. Uh, Vanessa, you think Chloe will know this one? Yeah, I'd say so. She's a stripper and she's used to that. Okay, good strategy. Let's find out. What's happening if someone's ogling you? It means they're looking at me and they're not taking their eyes off me. They follow you. When was the last time you were ogled? Actually, right now. Yeah. Can we get a shot of that? Let's, uh, uh, look at all the oglers. Hi, everybody. Woo. <laughs> That's the right answer. Way to go, Vanessa. We had quite a crowd watching that one. Now, Travis, you think Gina's going to come through also? She's, I don't got, know. she's got to know this. She's All right, let's find out. Let's take a look. Gina, what's happening if someone is ogling you? Um, they're probably laughing at me. Why? Because what's ogling mean? Um, to laugh at somebody that looks funny. <laughs> That's not a right answer either. I'm sorry, Travis. Let's move on to the next question. Uh, here's the last question of the round. If you're driving and hit a beach bunny, what have you just run over? So who knew that one? What do you think, guys? Uh, Chloe, 
Gina or Jordana knew the answer to that one. Vanessa's on the board with 100 bucks. Travis, we're still looking to get you that first C note here, buddy. Okay, you guys are locked in. And uh, Vanessa, you think uh, Gina's going to know this one this time, huh? Yeah, I hope so. It looks like she might have run into a few herself. All right, let's so. find out. <laughs> if you're driving and hit a beach bunny, what have you just run over? A little bunny rabbit. <laughs> It's a wrong answer. I'm sorry, Vanessa. Now, Travis, you think Jordana knows, right? Jordana, she's a beach bunny. Let's find out. She is one. Okay, that's good. Let's find out. If you're driving and hit a beach bunny, what did you just run over? A girl. A girl? Like, what kind of girl? A stupid girl. She's running across the street. <laughs> that's a right answer. Yeah, Jordana got that right. We have to give it to her. It is a girl. Spends a lot of time at the beach. Let's recap the scores. Vanessa, you got 100 bucks. Travis just got on the board. He's got 100. He's happy about it. Watch our players bust their brains trying to figure out who blew it when we return. Which weighs more, a pound of cheese with holes or a pound of cheese without holes? A pound of cheese without holes. Well, why is that? Because it's solid. It's more... Yeah. You know, holes is just the air just go right through it. Right. So the pound isn't as heavy as the other pound. Nope. <laughs> players. We have Vanessa here. Now, Vanessa, tell me about your Halloween date. Well, on Halloween, it was a first official date, and I right. decided to get really sexy, and I wore a completely vinyl cat suit. Nice. The boots, yeah, the boots, the hair, the makeup, yeah. everything. Yeah, it was really hot, and my date loved it. He right. came, I mean, I thought he was going to pass out. Right. So we go to uh, this bar in Hollywood, and I'm thinking, I'm going to fit right in. Right. And we walk in, and literally nobody no one's is dressed, dressed up. <laughs> and I'm standing there in complete vinyl. But you're still with the guy, though. I you am, yeah. But let I'm me just say, while you're telling that story, Travis was acting like he was Puking. Okay, all right, there he is. Okay. I think it was probably very pretty. Now, Travis, oh, yeah, Travis, you have a lot of room to talk. Tell us about oh, your yeah. Thailand story. <laughs> all right, I was in Thailand one time. I met this fine female. We're right. off good. We're going to the hotel, and I noticed a rather large Adam's apple. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. I texted some other parts of her body, and uh, I, realized, out. I realized she's a man. It was a guy, yeah. Go ahead, Vanessa. Puke. Blah. Yeah, there you go. All good right, two great stories. There, all right. Uh -huh. Good Head down to the storm cellar, boys and girls, because it's time to enter our next round. Who blew it? This time we ask the same question to only two of our Boulevard Brainiacs. One answered right, one answered wrong. Now, each time Vanessa or Travis correctly identifies which Brainiac bombed the question, they get $200. Now, you guys can earn an extra $200 by using the dunce cap also. Here's how it works. When you hear a question you think your opponent's too bird-brained to answer, bang the buzzer on your chair and dunce them. If they cannot answer the question, you get 200 bucks. And remember, there's only one dunce in the round, so use it carefully. Okay. Here we go, guys. Here's the first question I ask both to Chloe and to Gina. How many hands does a digital clock have? So flip up your, oh my God, Vanessa's done Travis. Throw the cap up on him, Vanessa. Oh yeah, sorry. $200 on the line, Travis. If you don't get it, she gets the money. If you do answer correctly, you get the money. She's gonna sport the cap. I'm gonna read it again, you got five seconds. How many hands does a digital clock have? Let's see, a digital clock does not have hands. <laughs> Sir, exactly, Travis. Put the dunce cap on her. He gets the two hundred dollars. Block that no. dunce, Vanessa. I don't know what you were thinking there. Now flip them up, guys. Flip up your paddles. Who blew it up there? We know Travis uh, didn't, but Chloe or Gina did blow this yeah. one. So what do you think, Vanessa? Definitely Chloe. Okay. All right. Okay. You guys are both locked in. You think Chloe, Vanessa? You figure you, she's. Yeah, the same whole you know stripper thing. I'm okay. Get all right. Let's find out. Yeah. How many hands does a digital clock have? Three. It has three? Yes. Uh, which one? Two, two are big and one is small. Okay. okay. <laughs> you guys both that Chloe. Oh, she yeah. did not know. Nice job, guys. Oh, we already heard the correct oh, answer. Yeah. It's mine. All right. Here's the next question I asked to Gina and Jordana. I asked them both, what does MTV stand for? So who blew it? What do you think, uh, Vanessa and Travis? Who blew that one? Was it Gina or Jordana? Travis has got a $200 lead. And uh, you guys are both locked in, and you have a difference of opinion on this one. Now, uh, Vanessa, you think Gina's the one who blew it, right? Yeah, she probably doesn't, doesn't watch MTV. MTV? Whole, All right, yeah. let's find out, see if you can tie up the game. Gina, what does MTV stand for? Uh, music, music Tunes Vision. Music Tunes Vision, there you go. <laughs> Yeah, that's the wrong answer. She blew it. Way to go, Vanessa. You have $500 also. Looks like Jordana got it correct. I'm sorry, Travis. Let's watch. What does MTV stand for? Music television. What's your favorite show on the music television? Real world. All right, I'm sorry, Travis. She knew that. Music television. All right. Okay, here's the last question of the round, guys. we got a tie game. I asked to Chloe and to Jordana, what is an air guitar? 
Who blew that one? What do you think, guys? Chloe or Jordana did not know what an air guitar is. Got a tie game here, looking for round three. Maybe someone's going to get a lead. Well, you guys both are locked in. You both went with yeah. the same person. Travis, you think Chloe blew this? She's kind of an airhead. I think uh, she blew it. Okay, let's find out. <laughs> what is an air guitar? Uh, it's when someone just like acts out that they're playing the guitar. Right. When they hear Metallica and all the guys are like, <laughs> you know, like they're really in the band. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, you both had Chloe. That's a right answer. That's an air guitar. It looks like uh, Jordana's the one who missed it. Sorry about that, guys. All right, let's recap the scores. Vanessa, you got $500. Travis has got $500. We got a tie game. The horse place continues as our players pick their ponies next. When it's noon in Los Angeles, what time is it in New York? Five o'clock. Five o'clock? Yeah. The five hour time difference? Sure. Three. What about daylight saving? Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. All right. My bad. My bad. Hey, welcome back to Street Smarts. It's time to it's time to harness your instincts and pick your pony. This time, Vanessa and Travis will each choose one of the three sub street subjects for the entire round and try to guess how they'll answer three questions. A correct prediction is worth 300 bucks. Woo! Yeah, we're gonna have some money scored here. And we're gonna leave the dunce cap on this round. It can only be used once, and it is also worth $300. Now, you guys are tied, okay? Now, Vanessa, backstage, you won the preliminary tiebreaker, right. so uh, you're gonna go first. So mm -hmm. who'd you like to saddle up? I picked Jordana. You're gonna go with Jordana, yeah. very nice choice. Travis, how about you? I'm gonna ride Chloe. You're gonna go with Chloe, yeah. all right. <laughs> all right, here we go. First question, Vanessa, 500 bucks each. Uh, I asked Jordana, if you go to a wedding and see the Macarena, what have you seen? Think she got that right or wrong? Uh, oh God. I think she's gonna get that All right. right. You can take a lead here by 300 bucks if you predicted this correct. Let's find out. If you go to a wedding and see the Macarena, what have you seen? You want me to show you? Sure, go ahead. Oh, <laughs> That's the right answer. Way to go, but so she knew what it was. Who doesn't? Eight hundred dollars for you. Got a three hundred dollar lead. Travis, first question to Chloe of the round. I asked Chloe, "What is a bikini wax? What is a bikini wax? Do you think she got this right or wrong, Travis? You can tie it up." I definitely think she got this one right. Okay. All right. Let's let's find out. What is a bikini wax? A bikini wax. It's a very painful procedure involving wax and wax strips and you pull them off and it takes your hair out at the root. Right. It's one of those things that women do that are very painful. Uh -huh. Do you want to see it? Yeah. Oh, I dropped my cards. <laughs> That's the right answer. Way to go, Travis. She bikini waxes. Way to go, buddy. We got a tie game. Okay, this is the next question to Jordana. Uh, Jordana, for you, Vanessa. Okay. What is solar cane used for? Do you think she got this right or wrong, Vanessa? Oh, Travis, he delayed, but he, he got it on time. Put it up there. You've been done, Vanessa. 300 bucks on the line. You can take a lead here. I'm going to read it again. you got five seconds to answer the question. I asked, uh, the question's to you. Yeah. What is solar cane used for? Uh, solar cane is a sunscreen. It's the wrong answer, what? Vanessa. I'm sorry. It is the wrong answer. He gets a $300. Travis, nice job. He has a $300 lead. Now, did she get it right or wrong? You missed that one, Vanessa. I, I said she'd get it wrong. You said? Yeah. <laughs> I think she's a little upset. Let's see if she did get it wrong. What is solar cane used for? To see how hot the sun is. Right. So it's okay. So like, what do you think today is? What do you think the solar cane is today? Not that great. Not that great. No. <laughs> she got it wrong also, Vanessa. Way to go. 300 bucks for you. You get that 300 bucks back. We're tied. Uh, solar cane is used for sunburn. It's for sunburn. Yeah. To soothe you. Not for sunscreen. Okay. Yeah, there okay. you go. All right, Travis. Question to Chloe was, in slang terms, what is a pot belly? Think she got this right or wrong? What do you think there, Travis? I think she's gonna get this one right. Okay. She doesn't want one. Okay, <laughs> right. What stripper does? All right, let's find out. In slang terms, what is a pot belly? Probably a guy with a big fat guy. Is that sexy? That's sexy when a guy has a little extra down there, doesn't it? No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> do you have to have a six pack on a guy for you? Or? No. My boyfriend's an average looking guy. Oh, you have a boyfriend? That's yeah. Great. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she got it right. Way to go, Travis. Three hundred bucks for you. You're up to fourteen hundred dollars. A lot of money being scored here. Okay, this is the last question of the round for you, Vanessa. Last one to Jordana. You, uh, okay. you need this to tie up the score. This is big. All right. I asked Jordana, Bookum Dano is a signature line from what TV show? 
Think she knows? Uh, right yeah. or wrong? I would say she got that one wrong. You think she got it wrong? Yeah, All right, let's see if we can tie up the game here. Bookum Dano is a signature line from what TV show? Friends. From Friends? Yeah. Who says Bookum Dano? Matt LeBlanc. <laughs> Joey. Yes. He also says, how you doing? Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> she got it wrong. Way to go, Vanessa. We got a tie game. The correct answer. Hawaii 5 Hawaii 5 I was in Hawaii. I was in Waikiki. Jordana, she's from San Diego. I guess you didn't know that one. Okay, last question around. Travis, we got a tie game right now. You can take the lead going under the wager of death. This is big. I asked Chloe, what would you be studying in a maritime course? What would you be studying in a maritime course? What do you think? Think she got that right or wrong, Travis? She got this one wrong. She got it wrong? Absolutely. All right, this is big. For the lead going into our final round. Let's see. Chloe, what would you be studying in a maritime course? Um, how to be a good wife. And how do you be a good wife? How do you be a good husband? You treat a woman with respect and love. And you treat a man with respect and love also. I feel a duet coming on. <laughs> <laughs> that she was into me. She got it wrong. Way to go, Travis. You do take the lead. Nice job. Correct answer. Uh, anything related to boating, the sea, or navigating the waters. Vanessa, you have $1,400. But Travis has got a lead, $1,700. prediction on a question I asked Chloe, Gina, and Jordana. I asked them, what's it mean if you're unclad? Sit tight because it's time for life and death decisions as we start our final round. The wager. Don't go death. away. <laughs> Welcome back to Street Smarts. Now, Vanessa and Travis, here's what's kicking. During the break, each of you secretly chose one of the three people out on the street, okay. secretly made a prediction as to whether they were right or wrong, and you secretly wagered an amount of money not to exceed the total you now have. Right. Speaking of totals, two nice totals. So Vanessa's got $1,400, yeah. but Travis has got $1,700. Now remember, guys, only the winner leaves with so much as a penny, which means everything rides on this final question. And here's a question I asked to Chloe, Gina, and Jordana. What's it mean if you're unclad? Let's get your choices here. Vanessa, you're only trailing by 300 bucks, so mm -hmm. you can still win some big money here. So yeah. whose clip do you want to see? Jordana. You're going Jordan. All right, Travis, you're in the lead, buddy. You're sitting in the driver's seat now. Who do you want to see? Let's see. <laughs> Roll them along. Chloe. You're going with Chloe. All right, nobody picked Gina, so we're going to say bye to her. Bye. And this is, uh, this is the last clip for you here, Vanessa. We're going to watch Jordana's clip, see if you can take a lead. Okay. What does it mean if you're unclad? Not cool. You're not cool? Yeah. If you were unclad, I'd, I'd think you were very cool. <laughs> Okay, that is a wrong answer. She got that wrong. Vanessa, you got 1400 bucks. Did you say Jordana would get it wrong? Oh, yeah, Yes, baby. you did. All right. How much you can add to your $1,400? You go big, what'd you do? She did go big. Oh, my God. $2,800, Vanessa. You now have the lead. Travis, it's up to Chloe. Let's take a look. Yes, baby. What's it mean if you're unclad? That you have no class. It means you have no class? I believe so. That is a wrong answer as well. The correct answer is uh, you're undressed, which, yeah, would have been, okay. Anyway, Travis, you went with Chloe. She got that wrong. You're trailing right now. It's been a close game the whole time. Did you say she'd get it wrong? Oh, he did. Now, Travis, you had to wager at least $1,100 to win the game. 1101, more than 1100. Did you do it? Vanessa wants to know. Bam! Oh, he went 